What's going on you guys? Today we're going to be talking about the Melanie Martinez allegations. Now let's just jump straight into the video. Firstly, I'm just going to put a disclaimer out there. So I'm not taking anyone's side in the story. I'm just investigating the facts and what's out there and I'm letting you guys decide what you want to believe. That being said, you guys can decide whatever you want and come to any conclusion that you want based on the facts I present on this video. So let's start off with the basics and the start of the story. So this all started when Timothy Heller, um, Melanie Martinez's former best friend, posted a lengthy Twitter post revealing what happened between her and Melanie. She tweeted, quote, When I wrote this story about my assault, I initially wasn't going to make the abuser, but I think it's important for you all to know this is about Melanie Martinez. So to sum her whole story up, basically she's saying that they had a two-night sleepover on the 24th and 25th of June in 2015. Timothy said that the first night that they had the sleepover, Melanie was begging her to do things. And Timothy claims that she kept saying no. And this apparently went on for hours. Regardless of this, nothing happened the first night. Timothy claims that it was kind of the same story on the second night, which was the 25th, and that is supposedly when everything went down. Timothy is also saying that she was basically just trying to fall asleep, and Melanie just started to touch her, and Timothy allegedly didn't say no, or she didn't say yes, and she just let it happen. Now that we know the basics of the story, I'm going to present you guys with some inconsistencies in Timothy's story. The first most obvious inconsistency is the fact that Melanie wasn't even in the same state as Timothy on the nights that this allegedly happened. Timothy claimed that this occurred on the 24th and the 25th of June in 2015 when Melanie was in New York performing some shows since I believe the 21st of June to the 25th. Um, I think she got back on the night of the 25th but it still means that there's an inconsistency, meaning that she wasn't there and they weren't together on the 24th. I do understand that she could have simply gotten the dates mixed up, however, I don't think this is the case here. Now, even though she might have not known the exact day and maybe she guessed the dates that it happened, I find it quite odd that someone would just kind of guess the literal exact date. Now, I don't know about you guys, but me and Basically everyone I know, if they don't know the exact date, they give me kind of like a rough time frame. They say like, oh, like a couple days ago or like sometime last week or maybe like of June of last year. You would say something like that. I don't know. That's just my take on that situation. Another inconsistency in Timothy's story is that she claimed she hasn't heard from Melanie for more than a year, but she answered on her Curious Cat account that she was still friends with her in January 2017. Timothy also provided a photo of Melanie in handcuffs as a form of proof to the whole situation. But it is kind of weird to me how um, she's claiming this, but Melanie's the one, like, tied up and stuff. It does kind of suggest that maybe Timothy was more into it than she's claiming. But I really don't know the background or the story behind the photo, so I can't really say much on that. However, the photo does indeed prove that they were together and something did happen. Uh, one other inconsistency is that the photo shows Melanie's hair being a washed out bluish and black. When at the time of the claims, Melanie actually had half blonde, half black hair. So it could be suggesting that the date that the photo was taken was actually during a different time, which is not really far-fetched at this point. Also, people that actually believed her statement noticed that her pinned tweet promoting her single sleep wasn't pinned until after she made the statement on Twitter. I don't know about you guys, but it does seem a little suspicious that she's going to release a new music video for her single after she accuses Melanie. After she has gotten a ton of attention and new followers that would help the video honestly get a ton of views and maybe more buys. 
I also think that it's extremely crucial to note that Timothy does have borderline personality disorder. Now, I'm not saying this could be the reason why she's doing all of this, but it is important to note. I also do find it a little weird that um, Timothy's claiming Melanie of these things, and then later she's continuing to hang out with her and go on tour with her and post pictures looking like her. I mean, that's a little weird to me. I mean, if your friend just hurt you, why would you go around doing this? Timothy has also deleted a lot of photos with Melanie off of her Instagram, which could be just because she wants to get rid of any form of her on her Instagram, or it could be because people are finding proof of Timothy lying on her Instagram. Timothy actually deleted a photo of herself looking a lot like Melanie when she was on tour with Melanie, and she posted this on April 7th, 2016. Melanie also went to Twitter to respond to Timothy's statement, saying, I am horrified and saddened by the statements and story told tonight by Timothy Heller. What she and I shared was a close friendship for a period of time. We came into each other's lives as we were both starting our careers as artists, and we tried to help each other. We both had pain in dealing with our individual demons and the new paths we were forging, but I truly felt that we were trying to lift each other up. She never said no to what we chose to do together. And although we parted ways, I'm sending her love and light always. So Melanie is admitting that they did stuff together. And she's saying that she didn't say no to what they chose to do together. And I know that silence is not consent. But if someone is doing stuff to you and you don't tell them no, they probably think that you like it and you enjoy it and want it. So I don't know. That's my opinion on that. But again, it could be a result of... Uh, Timothy continuously saying no to Melanie in which she resulted in just letting her do whatever she wanted to get her to stop and leave her alone. Melanie's statement doesn't really clear things up and she has been rather silent about the subject but Melanie did say that she never said no meaning at all which is inconsistent with Timothy's story basically saying that she said no uh, both nights so I really don't know what to believe. Melanie also made a second statement on Saturday saying she understands how hard it could be to see her side of the story considering no one with a heart would want to invalidate anyone speaking up about this topic. She wants to thank her fans who took the time to research the timeline, analyze past Instagram photos, and question the story being told which reveal her false statements. She trusted so many people in her life who took advantage of her uh, for their own personal gain. Please know that her intentions with everything that she does in life are always pure and she would never be intimate with anyone without their absolute consent. So this is her second statement on the topic denying these claims, but Timothy has yet to really actually respond to this second statement. But an hour after Melanie tweeted this post, Heller wrote on Twitter that this is why victims don't speak up. I wouldn't wish this upon anyone. So I don't know if it indirectly suggests something that Heller hasn't actually discussed why the timeline is off or any of the other proof. She's kind of remaining silent on her side now. So I don't know what that means. I don't know if she'll come back with more proof or or maybe dispute the claims that she's lying. So I don't really know who to believe or what to believe, but I will say that there are three possible conclusions. And that is that Timothy's lying, Melanie's lying, or that this might be a publicity stunt from both of them. That being said, you guys can come to your own conclusions. Let me know what you guys think of this in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.